Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we've got a big, ugly cherry burl I got from my buddy, John Raylo. Shout out to John. Um, got this last year, but we're gonna try to make a bowl out of it. It's big, it's heavy, it's gnarly. And as you can see, it's kind of gonna be rough to work with because the way we cut it kind of dips, makes a bowl itself. So, so rather than the traditional way where you would work this as the bottom, I'm gonna flip it over and this will be the bottom. There'll be a lot of exposed walls. It, it might not even, it might not turn, but we're gonna see how it goes. Because if I were to use this as the bottom, I'd have to take off way too much to get it flat. I'm not gonna do that, so. It'll probably be a weird looking bowl, but we're gonna see what I can make out of this. So let's take this over to the bandsaw and get it ready. All right, guys, I had a little adjustment. I had to take off some of that bottom anyway. So we're just gonna make that the bottom. And the more I dug into it, the more rot it had. So this might not even hold together. As you can see, that stuff's kind of pulling it apart. So we'll see how this goes, but it might not be so promising.
kind of scaring me. It's it's all rot. But we're gonna flip it around and put it on the truck. I'll sand all this all these tool tool marks down. It's gonna be a long process, but it's better than having this thing blow up on me. So we're gonna flip it around, put it on the truck, and just see what happens. Well guys, as you can see, the tenon scared me for a reason. It just broke right off, so I'm gonna put it back on on the uh, spur drive and I'll make another tenon for it and we'll see how that goes. Well, I tried three or four different tenons on it, and each one just wasn't working out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tenon off, and then I'll flip it around, and we'll work it between centers rather than in the chuck. I don't know if you can see it here, but in the top right, right there, it's a lot of rot and it just got worse and worse the more I dug into it. So at this point, I'm just trying to make something. I don't know what it is or if it's even gonna be anything, but that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to get this off the lathe and onto a shelf. Guys, I don't have much to say about this one other than uh, WTF because it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. I ended up throwing it between centers and just trying to get something out of it. So I'm gonna call this uh, a little burl platter, even though you know I don't know. It's, a, it's an art piece like that. We'll call it an art piece, but I'm gonna sand it up, put some finish on it, and I'll show you how it ends up.
I'm not gonna bore you with it, so that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna run through my grits and we'll come back after it's done. All right, guys. Well, the good news is it didn't blow up, but the bad news is I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know if you guys see anything I don't, but it does have some nice figure in it. I suppose you could put bananas on it. I suppose you could put, um, I don't know. But anyway, Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Still waiting on a thousand subscribers. I've got the bowl ready. We're just waiting on the waiting on the thousand. Once that comes through, I'll throw that video out there and we'll give give somebody a bowl. Until then, thanks for coming to the shop again. I appreciate it. And on to the next one. Much love, guys. Thanks.